Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for checking out today's video and welcome to the Jonathan Thames Music Channel where I want to share my love and passion for music with all of you by reacting to some of your favorite artists and by sharing some of my own original work with some behind the scenes content about the creation of music. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the awesome music related content I have here on the channel. And today I'm going to be checking out a performance that was a relatively popular request among the comments in some of my previous Snarky Puppy reaction videos, which is the collaborative performance from Snarky Puppy and Metropole Orchest, and I'll be checking out the song The Curtain. Now, it's been quite a while since I've actually reacted to Snarky Puppy here on the channel, and I haven't yet heard anything outside of the pieces that I've reacted to here on the channel. But if you've caught those, then you know I'm a fan, and having said that, I'm very much so looking forward to diving in and checking this out, so let's hit that play button and see what it's all about. Man, that's quite a setup. The way that the dynamics are building as the instrumentation builds, creating that rising tension. I'm looking forward to seeing where this takes us. Nice hefty beat drop right there. That clean electric guitar, that brings it together. Very cool. This is really pretty. I love those unexpected notational lines they throw in with their arrangements. Ooh, very Miles Davis place to go right here. I love what the drums are doing. That's amazing. I love the way that their trumpet player plays. He reminds me so much of Miles Davis. And I love what the bass is doing low key too. Keeping it nice and pocketed. And you can hear him kind of just thumping away lightly in the background there, but it really helps to, to push the, that low end forward in the right way. The subtlety with the bass and the drums is creating a very, very strong and uh, subdued kind of feeling rhythm section. That was fun. That whole little segment. have the most interesting key modulations. Ooh. Again, that dynamic build.
Yeah! Oh, that was nice. Love the sound of those marim I think that's those are marimbas, but oh, I love the sound of that. Yeah. Nice key for the the clarinets to come in. That was really really cool sounding. That sort of reminds me of Miles Davis too a little bit. Whoa. Kicking it in with the modern feel to, with that synthesizer. Some funk, yeah. Oh, that's that staggered guitar part is awesome. That staccato part, that's awesome. Very prog and funky. I like this. This actually reminds me a lot of some of the new Primus. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I'm really digging this, dude. This is fun. It's all about that rhythm, dude. Oh, we're getting kind of experimental on the bass now. Cool. Is that like a synth effect that he's got on there, or a Q-tron sound, with a, mixed with a pitch shifter. I'm not sure, if somebody knows, tell me. King Crimson -y. Yeah, man, that's cool. When the brass kicks in right there, whoa, man, that really adds some pump. Nice place to drop off and transition into the new space. I really, really liked that transition a whole lot. different areas to explore in this piece this is the way that it started out I didn't predict that we would get here <laughs> I love watching him play the synthesizer he always has so much fun Oh, 
Oh, that's very Return to Forever. I like that. And the way that that snare is hitting. I know it's jazz, but it's... Wow! So tight and clean! Oh, got it, man! The way that he plays those drums, I can't help but move! The way that they play together can keep that groove. But they can transition from groove to orchestral, like that. Or they can, you know, keep it groovy while keeping it orchestral. <laughs> Very nice chord progression there. That's awesome. Brings things back to a more kind of concise point in the song where it's like, okay, this is a s solid part of the arrangement. Rigidly followed. <laughs> but you can tell there was a lot of areas in this song that lent itself to the improvisational state. Which I loved. Ooh, that's beautiful. down the velocity, quiet it down a little bit. Brings out those accentuated notes more. that he's controlling again his velocity when he's doing those that's amazing it sounds so clean and intentional musicianship right there to be able to control and discipline your velocity that well to create that intentional swell in those dynamics while performing that that's that's incredible and that's very 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 tightly acquired skill I don't know if that makes any sense but wow very skillful Powerful and cinematic entry. Yeah, 
this sounds very cinematic. Way that that baseline accompanied that notational build at that on that round was awesome. <laughs> the notational climb, I should say. Wow. All right, so that was Snarky Puppy and Metropole Orchest, and that was the curtain. Now, in case you couldn't tell, I had an awesome time with that track, but probably the key element that really stood out to me more than any other was the amount of variety that existed musically from theme to theme within this song. Now, Snarky Puppy is known for creating pieces that transition from theme to theme and for creating pieces that have a lot of variety in them, but this definitely had a larger spectrum than I was anticipating. And on that note, they always have such a way of arranging these pieces in, in an unpredictable way. Meaning when you start the song out, you may sit there and think, oh, okay, I think that we're entering into this kind of mood and this is kind of the vibe and energy that's going to be present throughout the song. But then as the song progresses, you'll find yourself near the middle or towards the end going, how did we end up here? <laughs> So it's it, it but it's but every transition happens so flawlessly and seamlessly, which is again another very characteristic feature from what I've picked up on from all the snarky puppy pieces that I've had the chance to listen to so far. And uh just like with all of the other Snarky Puppy songs, the musicianship demonstrated in this performance was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, every single musician very clearly understands the concept of dynamics, and is every musician is very skillful in controlling their attack and their velocity to impact those dynamics correctly. And probably the best example for this performance was actually during the piano piano solo, when that pianist started hitting on those triplet rolls, and the amount of discipline and control that he was able to utilize to create such an intentional swell of dynamics, it was so impressive and so impactful. It was, it was very, very effective. And uh, that's something that really every musician in the band demonstrates, but again, that was probably the most uh, obvious example from this performance. The other thing that I really, really enjoyed about this was the rhythm section. When it kicked into that, to that uh, peak funk theme, it was, it was really, really just kicking. I could not help but just really get into that groove and that rhythm created by the, the bass and the drums, man. They just played so tightly together. And uh, also, whenever that synth part kicks in for that theme, it just that just sets everything off as well. I had a great time with that. I always have a great time with Snarky Puppy tunes. But let me know what you thought about it. Did you enjoy that piece? Are you a Snarky Puppy fan? I want to thank everybody for checking out today's video. Please be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on any of the other awesome music related content that I have coming up here on the channel. I hope that everybody out there is doing well and I'll see you all in the next video.